Another day, another opportunity for SpaceX to try again. We are now just hours away from the next available window to send up a Falcon 9 rocket. The launch was supposed to happen early this morning, but a mechanical issue prompted a scrub. News 6's James Barbero has been following this launch. And James, how are things looking right now? Looking good right now, Ginger, because you can see the countdown clock. It's ticking down to 3.27 in the morning. It was supposed to be 3.50 yesterday morning. 3.27 this morning is the new launch time. We'll give you a close look at launch pad 39A, where NASA and SpaceX say the Falcon 9 rocket is ready to go. And so is the Crew Dragon Endurance capsule. The capsule was the subject of the issue last night. NASA says the crews wanted the teams, excuse me, wanted more time to review the flight control systems, the environmental control systems, and the life support systems. They say the crew is ready to go as well. They should be sleeping right now. Those astronauts got here back on Sunday at Kennedy Space Center, led by Commander Jasmine Mogbelli, the only NASA astronaut. The other crew members flying with her, they come from Russia, Japan, and Denmark. They make up the most international crew of all the seven crew rotational missions going to the International Space Station thus far under NASA's commercial crew partnership with SpaceX. Again, everybody, the launch is at 327 this morning. The weather has improved from even 90% favorable conditions to 95% favorable conditions. So the weather is perfect for a launch, but like all launches and like last night, it comes down to the technical side of things as well. So we'll be here all night. And remember, this launch is supposed to have a sonic boom as well. That's a first for the commercial crew program. SpaceX is attempting to land the Falcon 9 booster here at the Cape. Live at NASA's Kennedy Space Center, I'm James Sparvero, getting results news 6.